Mike Hall and Sean Morris here for the game of the year in the Big Ten regular season. First place versus second place. Wisconsin and Maryland, a win for the Badgers. And the commissioner can hand them the Big Ten regular season title. But Dez Wells had other ideas. After all, this is his house, Sean, and it's a house of learned doctors. Well, and he gets it going from deep early, really spreading out Wisconsin. He was fantastic all night. Senior leadership on both ends of the floor. Outside, inside, spinning. He was heating up. The team's up by eight. Still an eight-point lead. Wells driving with authority and speed. He had 14 points at the break. Meanwhile, Wisconsin kept shooting threes and couldn't get him to go. One of 11 from deep in the first half. And Mike, you and I, as we watched this ball game, I mentioned I thought it was one of the few times this year I thought that Maryland sped up Wisconsin offensively leading to that poor shooting performance. Not easy for them to do. And then after Melo Trimble does that, we got the largest deficit of the season thus far for Wisconsin. It's an 11 point Terp lead. Second half, instantly different. Frank Kaminsky inside. He had 18 on the day. Badgers open the half on a 15 to six run. However, a turnover here means Wells gets a loose ball. Look at a little dish there. Give it up at the perfect time to Jake Lehman. Maryland's up by four. Bronson Koenig running the point. Suddenly the threes started to fall and we're tied at 47, but this was a huge momentum play. Koenig with a jump shot. No, Duye Dukin rebounds. He's called for traveling. Bo Ryan is livid. Apoplectic comes to mind. <laughs> he wanted a jump ball, does not get it. So it's Maryland's ball, and things kind of unraveled from there for the Badgers. You're about to see Des Wells earn the award for Ooh. outstanding achievement in the field of excellence. 26 points on the day, Maryland up by five. It's a three-point game under a minute to go. Look at Froshy. So athletic, so dominant, so down goes Wisconsin. 59 to 53, your final score. The fans storm the court. Mello Trimble drops six. Look at the crowd surfing turtle. Fear the turtle. Trimble drops 16 points on the day, and you cannot beat Maryland at home. 17 and one at home this season. Zero losses to Big Ten teams there in College Park. Nicole Darren afterwards caught up with a head coach. All right, Coach, first off, congrats on the big win, and it was quite the win over number five, Wisconsin. You move to just two games back for first place in the conference. Just how big was this win for the Maryland Terrapins, though? Well, whenever you can beat a great team and a great coach, and they've been the dominant team in our league all year, uh, it means a lot. And uh, this late in the year to still be ranked and starting to win and starting to play our best basketball, it means a lot. But uh, it's one win. Uh, we had a great environment, our students were tremendous, our crowd was great, and you know our guys stepped up and played well. You mentioned the fans and the atmosphere, the gold rush night, a sellout crowd. Talk about how these fans make it so difficult for, for people to come in here and play you guys. You guys are 17-1 and one at home now. Yeah, well, we're a basketball school, and they love their basketball team, and you know they have a team that they can really cheer for and root for and yell for now, so everybody's real excited. And uh, But we've won three or four home games that we had no chance at winning without our fan support. Our fans have been great, and they never give up on us. They believe in us, and uh, it's just a lot of fun right now.